So this is part of our spline cage and in this section we're just going to be taking a quick look at how I did some refinement using some of the spline tools that really work well when you're using a surface modifier. So if I exit uh, uh, sub-object mode here and I just turn on my surface modifier you can see I've got some funky things going on but basically I've got some big gaps and some other things and um, with the three and four sided region rule we want to make sure that we have enough regions in there. So I'm going to go back to spline sub-object mode and we're just going to be adding some uh, lines in here that's part of our cage right off of this uh, vertex here. So to do that I'm just going to go ahead and there's a couple of different ways I can do it. I have refine and I have refine connect. Now with refine if I just turn on refine you'll notice that I get a, a little icon over my cursor everywhere I go so I can just click there and what it does is it automatically inserts a vertex in each segment it's essentially the same thing as um, uh, segment divide but notice that no line is then connected and if I need to then at this point I would just make sure that my snaps are on I have vertex snap on and then I could go create line which would then allow me to create a new line segment to each one of those vertices. Now, that's a long way to do that. Sometimes you have to do that manually if it's a pretty complex piece of topology or something like that. But uh, a much faster way to do it is with Refine Connect. So you check the uh, checkbox that says Refine Connect, and before you click Refine, you can um, have it bind the first or the last vertex. Um, I have Auto Weld on, so I'm just going to turn that on. What that means is it'll automatically weld this vertex as we go out here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on refine. So now when I click on the first vertex and I click in each of the segments, I get a vertex there. When I right click, it automatically generates that. Now it didn't create one there. Uh, oops, let's go ahead and get out of there. We'll go ahead and just create a new one right there. So that's essentially what Refine Connect does. Refine Connect allows you to generate new vertices and, and uh, create a new segment between those vertices. If I scroll down here a little bit, I can see I have a little bit of a similar problem. Now, before I can address this issue, let's go ahead and clean this up. So again, we'll just use Refine Connect in this. doesn't really matter which way you go uh, with this, so we'll just go this way. And there's our new uh, spline there and uh, now you'll notice here that I have two vertices that are floating off in space I want to make sure they're in they're in the same space doesn't necessarily mean they need to be welded together uh, to create a legal surface but I just want to be sure that they're in the same space for this I'm going to use another tool called fuse now fuse is like centering your vertices together it's like aligning the vertices to the same spot it is not the same thing as weld. Weld actually combines two vertices into one. Fuse merely puts the uh, selected vertices within the same 3D space. Now both vertices move a little bit, so if you're specifically wanting to have one vertex in a specific location, you need to drag and drop the other one there. But otherwise, you can just use Fuse. It's very good for a large number of vertices. I'll go ahead and turn off my snap here real quick. It's very good for uh, making sure that, for example, I have four vertices here. Just making sure that they're all within the same 3D space is what we want. Looking here, I can see I have another little fuse problem there, so I'll just say fuse there. It's a great little cleanup tool that allows you to quickly uh, reposition vertices to create legal regions for the surface modifier. Okay, so sometimes you are maybe quickly creating splines or maybe you've created a couple of different splines and you're not uh, really, uh, you weren't really paying attention to how they're moving um, across the topology. I'm going to make sure my vertex snap is on and I'm going to undo connect for this one. And I'm just going to create a line here to here. And you'll notice that I've gone right across this segment right here. So I have a segment here and I have a segment here, but I have no vertex there. If I go into, uh, I'm still in vertex mode actually, so we would see a vertex if one were there. A nice tool to be able to correct that mistake is the cross insert tool. So you turn on cross insert and you move the, uh, the icon over where the segments intersect and you just click and you right click and uh, let's see if these vertices are created it didn't act oh it's probably because they're out of the threshold yes see they're pretty far away in there 
So let's increase the threshold. Uh, let's do cross insert. Let's do a threshold of five. We'll go ahead and redo cross insert. Okay, so there it actually created the vertices. Now it doesn't look like it created them um, from my current view. I'm in a perspective view, but what it did is it created them um, as close as it could, uh, as close as they could be together. So if I move around, you can see there are the two vertices. If I line it up there, um, you can see that it's basically the shortest distance between the two vertices. Now at this point, I can select both vertices and I can choose fuse, and it puts them in the same location. So the last thing that I want to look at here is the spline subobject mode, a nice little tool in here that's part of this subobject mode. Frequently I have the eye here. You may have seen this in the time lapse video. Um, I had to do it a couple of different ways because my scale and orientation was off a little bit, but here's the proper way to do that. If I have uh, this sub spline selected, it's an entire spline at the subobject level, and I just move it, I scale it in and out you can see that it leaves all those vertices behind. It is indeed its own spline. If I want to make more concentric splines down as part of the eye, all I have to do is hold the shift key. When I hold the shift key, just like when you are creating a clone um, at the object level, it creates an, an exact duplicate of the sub-object spline. And then all you have to do is hook up all the vertices. Now, if you have a lot of these vertices like I do here, that's a bit of a pain. The best way to do it though is to use connect copy. So I'm going to turn on connect copy and using the same method I hold down the shift key you can see that it automatically generates all of those extra splines that I need to. Now you can see I have a couple of things crossing over here so you do have to be a little bit careful about when you're scaling things uh, where it's coming into um, where it's crossing over itself but easy enough to fix uh, all you have to do is hold down the shift key, drag your copy, and if you've got uh, connect copy on, you're good to go. If you do get any crossing splines, you just it's a quick and easy fix.